All right, folks, welcome back. And uh, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. We are on very, very early ice up here in Maine. I've checked six to seven other ponds within an hour of me, and uh, not one of them is frozen. Uh, we're on probably, you know, three and a half to four inches of ice. I checked this pond three days ago, and it was walkable, but every step, it would make like little micro cracks. So I decided to not fish it that day and wait a couple and we've been just enough under freezing for this lake to set up enough to fish safely. Packing really light today, uh, just an auger. I'm primarily gonna be jigging. I am gonna set out a couple traps just with some crawlers on them because there are brook trout in this place, but I've never caught one, but I know people that have caught brook trout out of here. This is primarily yellow perch, pickerel, occasional smallmouth, and an occasional brook trout or two. And unfortunately, uh, I don't see any other lakes freezing anytime soon. The 10 day forecast looks terrible. We got two 50 degree days coming. Some rain and snow with like 45, 50 degree temps. So not good ice making weather. So I figured I'd come out and uh, give this place a try. So that's the plan. I'm only gonna fish for about two hours. Um, it is uh, almost nine o'clock and it is the 26th of uh, November. I can't remember if I said that. So we're gonna get after it folks and hopefully tie into a couple fish. So just a little update. I swapped my unit over to ice mode I don't know three or four days ago. Everything swapped over fine and went to get into my unit and I wouldn't pick up my transducer so I messed with that for probably 20 minutes and finally got it to recognize it. I don't know what was up. I don't know if it was just the first switch or what, but we're in and we got a fish already. First drop, fish came screaming in. Um, my jig barely hit the bottom and this fish came in and annihilated it. I'm gonna let this guy go. I'm trying to get set up so you guys can, oh, there's a nice fish down there nice fish down there I'm trying to get set up so you guys can see the screen but let's see if we can catch this fish first there's another nice fish down there we're in 15 feet of water fish hovering right on bottom and we're making ice right now guys I don't know if you guys can hear it but it's cold enough where we're actually making ice yep there's a fish a couple fish down on bottom yep he's coming up on another nice perch we're on them drop them back down got one suspended maybe yeah a bunch of fish here coming up we're gonna get hit three two one on perch after perch here oh this one's nice Nice perch. All right, nice perch. Not gonna be the best videoing on this one, folks. I don't know if you can tell, but we got a stiff wind. It keeps blowing my tripod over. I didn't bring a chest mount. I was planning on it, but I forgot to bring that. I grabbed everything else. Wind's blowing my sled around. So I'll do the best I can. Yeah, we got a fish. Got him. Small one. Little one. See a little guy. Decent fish. Oh, it's a pickerel. It's a pickerel. Well, nice pickerel for the jig rod. So I don't know if that's going to show on camera or not, but the wind knocked my tripod over, and I was getting my tripod, and my rod started going in the water. Pickerel grabbed it. So I don't know if you guys can hear the wind, but the wind is relentless. 
and I have to prop my tripod up against my jet sled so uh, this is going to be the only shot I'm going to be able to get today just because of the wind you know I like to get some of the flasher shots but it's uh it's not going to work with this wind the good thing is is uh, we're actually making ice oh we got a fish coming up always when you got your phone out got him Oh, it's a nice one. Probably a pickerel. Like I said, there are smallmouth in here, so it could be a smallmouth. No way! Crappie! No way! Oh my god, I had no idea there was crappie in here. I had no idea. No freaking way! I had no idea there was crappie in here. I'll have to map this out. That's a nice crappie. All right, we're gonna send him back. What a surprise that was. I thought it was a little funny because that fish came in suspended, which crappie are known for doing. And as soon as I got my jig on that fish's plane, he came over and hammered it. Unbelievable, I had no idea there was crappie in here. I'd like to get a couple more of them. Oh yeah, one's coming. From the bottom though, probably a perch. Probably a perch. Feels like a perch. That is a perch. Kinda bummed. Just after I dropped that fish off, Another one came in suspended, which was probably a crappie. That's a nice fish, whatever it is. That's my jig moving up and down. It's a nice mark sitting just off the bottom. That's either a smallmouth or a crappie. Highly unlikely it's a perch. Highly unlikely it's a pickerel. That's a good fish, whatever it is. It could be a trout as well. Sometimes trout will be lazy like that. That didn't take long. Yeah, we got a fish on. On. Feel some shaking. We have a big perch. Nice perch. Fish coming in. Probably a perch. Small one. Small perch. Size ones though. On. Nice perch. Whoa, well, it's a bunch of fish. Bunch of fish. Oh, it's a bunch of fish down there. One came in suspended. Looks like a crappie. Let's see if these fish are still around. Alright, they're off the screen. I think they're still there. Yep, one's coming up. Oh yeah, screaming. Got him. Bunch of fish. Nice yellows. Nice solid yellow perch. All right, folks, we're gonna wrap it up there. That was an awesome first day of fishing up here in Maine. I uh, did pretty well, you know, considering what we have available. I did about expected for this place. You know, a bunch of uh, yellow perch, uh, pickerel. That crappie was a complete surprise. I'm curious to see if that was a Lone Ranger or if they're going to start reproducing in here. I've never caught one out of here. I've never heard of anybody catching one out of here. So really curious to see what they're going to do. But overall, good first day. And like I said earlier in the video, the 10 day forecast is not good for ice making. So unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be making much ice, you know, the next 10 days. If this place holds, I'll fish this again. But uh, it's going to be a couple weeks before we get on to other places. And we're gonna wrap it up there, guys. 
just a real quick outro to the video. If you guys are still watching, I appreciate the view. Thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you guys on the next one.